Welcome to the homestead where the tap roots run deep and the tadpoles swim free. Thank you for joining me. Today I need to move some lathing up to Sawmill Ridge. The sawmill used to sit where I'm standing and we did several videos where we uh, were learning how to use the sawmill and so uh, some of the lumber is still here and the sawmill shed is being built up on Sawmill Ridge and so uh, we got the rafters up in the last video and today I need to go ahead and move the lathing uh, up to the sawmill shed so that hopefully tomorrow we can start putting it on. And then comes the tin and so I'm getting excited about this. How's it going, Blackberry? Eggnog will come see me. Sawmill shed looking good. Boy, we had a bad storm the other night. As a matter of fact, I just noticed there's a huge limb that fell down there. And of course our yard is a mess, but thankfully that's all there was to it. Some folks did lose power for a little while, but I'm gonna hop on the tractor and change out uh, the bucket for the forks and go down and get the lathing. Look at the spider webs. My gracious. Me and spiders do not get along.
Well, we got the lathing moved up here to Sawmill Ridge, up here to the Sawmill Shed. That's the next step in the Sawmill Shed build is the lathing and the tin goes on the lathing. And so we'll need to get the tin up here. That'll be the, the next thing we move up here and then we'll be ready for the tin. Lathing first and then tin and we'll have a shed and we can get the sawmill under there. It is hot today. I don't think I have to tell you that. You can probably observe the, the redness of my face <laughs> and how sweaty I am. And it's um, 108 heat index. It's uh, 94 degrees with a heat index of 108. Of course, it's middle of June, South Mississippi. And so it's going to be hot. I think I'm used to it until it gets so hot I feel like I'm about burnt out. But anyway, Dolly D is over there under the tractor. Um, it's very interesting. Dolly D, there's lots of shade around to lay in. But Dolly D chooses to lay under the tractor. Which I can only imagine has to be hot because of the engine heat. Um, that's radiating uh, in all directions. Um, she's sometimes a funny dog. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you'll join me on the next one. Dolly D, is it hot under there? Got to be hot under that engine. Sure under the transmission, I guess.